When it comes to movies about cartoons, they usually fall into two different genres, theatrical and TV specials. Theatrical cartoon movies obviously have a bigger budget, and the art style will reflect that, having a higher quality to their visuals than what we're used to seeing with more grandiose plots. TV specials, however, are usually just extended episodes that you can label as a movie, with the same art style. But I think it's time we add a third genre to cartoon movies, and that's... WHAT THE ACTUAL F*** IS THIS?! Seriously, what did we just see? Some cutscene in a foreign Spongebob game? I sure wish that was the case. No, what we have here is apparently a full-length foreign bootleg Spongebob movie! Spongebob in Tehran, which according to a quick Google search, everyone knows is the capital of Iran. The more you know. There's not a lot of information out there regarding this weird 45-minute movie. From what I can gather, though, this is a weird Persian dub that actually aired on television in the Middle East, and you can actually buy on DVD. And this isn't even the first weird SpongeBob creation they've made. Holy fish paste, man! SpongeBob Vivo is crazy! So, uh... Anyway, I guess let's check out SpongeBob in Tehran. The movie starts with <laughs> Cursed everything. This narration, the people who made it, and this freaking Disney text. Like, bro, even I have the SpongeBob font downloaded onto my computer. The movie's opening scene is literally the opening shot of the first SpongeBob movie, so look out, Iran. Viacom is coming. آن موقعی نهاره و همه ی احالی شهر دارن از خوردن همبرگرای خرچنگی خوشمزه و مقوی که خریدن لذت میده او مای نپتون اکسکیوز یو آرائیت ویل دات شور از دیفرنت وی کت تو دیس پی ایس وان ریجکت هو ایت ا کرابی پاتی اند دایید ای مین وات ایلس کود ایت بی هیز آیز فل آف دیس ریلی ایز گوین تو بی دی ستایل اف دی انتایر موی ایزن ایت Ooh, hey, it's Squidward! Bobby Spongy! Bobby Spongy? Is that SpongeBob's name in Persian? Because I am so down, you have no idea. <laughs> oh man, I don't know what's worse. The beta PS1 graphics or SpongeBob's voice? He sounds like Squidward! So Bobby Sponge cooks some patties. Patrick is sleeping under his rock in the middle of the road while his stomach talks to him. Seems like a pretty average, nightmare-induced episode of SpongeBob so far. Whoa, 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 what the heck? Mr. Krabs literally just threatened to pop a cap in SpongeBob's ass. And he showed no fear, saying, Mr. Krabs, I already have enough holes in me. Bobby Sponge fears nothing. Anyway, Mr. Krabs did this because SpongeBob told him the Krusty Krab is in danger. That danger being... They're out of special sauce, which I swear was also a plot in a random episode of SpongeBob. Anyway, this is apparently a big deal, because Mr. Krabs goes into his bat cave-like secret lair to realize there's no sauce in storage, and that customers are getting angry, demanding refunds. <gasps> oh my gosh, this version of Mr. Krabs is so ruthless. He literally locks down the Krusty Krab and sucks up all the customers in a vacuum so they can't leave until they figure out this situation. What is this plot? So Mr. Krabs finds an old film reel on apparently how to make the secret sauce, because I guess he doesn't know how to do it. At least, I think that's what it's supposed to be, because the video starts off with this oil tanker running into a rock and breaking in half, while Spongebob and Patrick argue about the Titanic movie? What?! <laughs> Turns out, however, there's no instructions here. What we do get, however, is a Mafia Mr. Krabs character who actually isn't Mr. Krabs, believe me, I'm, I'm trying to pay attention, and tells our heroes we need to find this guy who, in the real SpongeBob lore, just works at the Bargain Mart, and he will have all the answers they need. 
The only problem? He's in freaking Iran! So, our heroes pack up and head on their way! Gosh, I hate saying that I'm getting used to these visuals. While on the plane, Spongebob reads a pamphlet saying, The Iranians are very friendly and has some of the oldest landscapes in the world. Okay, whoa, now hold the phone! I refuse to learn anything in a movie that has Mr. Krabs pulling out a 22 revolver on Spongebob. I'm sorry. So our heroes finally land in Tehran. I feel like this is offensive somehow, but if the movie was made there, I, I guess it's not. Now this is where the plot starts to mirror the first Spongebob movie, because Plankton heads to the Krusty Krab while nobody's there, and attempts to steal the formula. Oh man, actual animation, how I've missed you! Meanwhile, Spongebob, Patrick, and Squidward are getting a taxi. Great, and this goes on for a long time. Like, like six minutes is dedicated to Bobby Sponge being in traffic and complaining! Like, is it supposed to be funny? It's just traffic! There's no jokes or anything, just complaining about how much traffic sucks! Which, yeah, is relatable for an adult like me. But for kids watching, I don't think they care! Spliced in between this epic traffic story, we have Plankton breaking into the Krusty Krab with a tank! Easy now! He manages to break in, but finds out he also needs this magical secret sauce. So he goes to Iran. How good is this sauce? According to this alternate universe, the secret formula is Iranian sauce. Now, I think, is a good time to mention how this movie is set up. It's basically split into four chapters. At the end of every chapter, we get the intro and narration again. So, it's more like four episodes split up and combined to make a movie. Right now, we're on episode three of four, and here's where things start to take a downfall. Yeah. It actually somehow manages to get worse. Because for the next 20 minutes, it's just Bobby Sponge, Patrick, and Squidward eating food. Seriously, this is like the biggest detour ever! They just walk into restaurants, eat, and create small talk. They try to advance the plot by showing the workers a picture of their target, but when they say, no, sorry, haven't seen them, they just continue to eat! I guess this is to educate us more on Iran, showing off their food after showing us their awful traffic. They go to get Kalepachi, a food I'm 100% sure I mispronounced. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. I googled a picture of it and it looked really scary. Granted, this is coming from a stupid American whose diet consists strictly of Taco Bell, so I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. I mean, I guess it's interesting if you want to learn about Iranian food. But if I wanted to do that, I wouldn't watch some cursed Spongebob movie! I'd watch Gordon Ramsay or something. So they go get some Korak Bandari. That's right, I'm gonna force you to learn as well. And the chapter ends, leading us to our finale. The police enters. Patrick, of all people, finds a detective to help them search for our bargain mart guy. Oh, no, no! Bobby Sponge and Patrick's face sum this up perfectly! This is a creepypasta, you can't tell me otherwise. This weird cat creature with his bloodshot, never blinking eyes? I hate it. I hate it so much! Now at this point, you think the plot would finally advance, right? They got a detective, they ate all the food in Tehran, something can finally happen now, right? No! Of course not! They goof around talking more about Iranian food, and then go on a bus where this brand new character that we've known for maybe five minutes calls his family, and we have to pretend like we care. So as it turns out, on the back of the photo that they were given, it was said that their target was going to a soccer game. Or football, if you live everywhere else in the world. This is so funny. So they go to the game and are having just a grand old time. Until... Aquaman. Oh, 
میکنه این کار آقا این صدای چی بود چیزی نبود عزیزم یه ار پی جی بود که خورد به ان ار پی جی ا راکت پروپلد گرنید هیتس دی کامنتیتور بابی اسپنج ایون اسکس اف هی دایید اند دی دتکتیو تلز هیم نا دس هاپنز اول دی تایم هیز فاین اند آی کید یو نات The next line of dialogue has the detective telling Bobby and Patrick that he found the guy they were looking for and that they can go home now. The entire dilemma and plot point of the movie resolved off screen. Mr. Krabs got a job selling merch because they needed a side plot that went nowhere and this is the first we've seen of it and they say they're going to miss Iran and head home. Oh yeah, Plankton's here. I forgot. He gets hit with a soccer ball. That's literally all he's done since he came to Tehran. And the movie ends just like that. They don't even show the gang heading back to Bikini Bottom. Although I guess this is a fitting end to the movie because what would happen next? They go to the Krusty Krab, make the sauce, and life goes on. It really goes to show you how thin and impactful the plot really was. So yeah, that was SpongeBob in Tehran. Overall, I'd give it a strong. What? The movie was so weird and all over the place. The first 15 minutes had an actual plot, but then just devolved into Bobby Sponge giving us a tour of Iran with their food and awful traffic. The visuals were obviously cursed to all hell. This detective was incredibly pointless and was only there to haunt my dreams for years to come. SpongeBob in Tehran is an interesting piece of media, no matter how terrible or strange it was. But you want to know something? This apparently is part of a trilogy. Three SpongeBob in Iran movies. I didn't watch them all yet, but the preview option doesn't give me much hope they're gonna be any better. So buckle up, because I guess our adventures with Bobby Sponge and friends is just beginning.